Okay, so today's health tip, we want to talk about real food. We've talked about this in the past, but for the purpose of, of this new forum, uh, remember that I'm trying to get people to join the group called Wellness Strategies on Facebook, and then there's also Wellness and Prevention on LinkedIn if you're a member at LinkedIn. We want to get, convince people, not convince people, but demonstrate to people that what you eat makes a difference. Real food is different from what most people eat during the day. We, ha we have a lot of processed food in our society. The processing of food tends to reduce its value. There is not really anything you can say good about processed food. It's more convenient. That's maybe a positive thing, but you're just not going to get the value. We can talk about organic versus non-organic, and we know for a fact that organic vegetables are going to have a higher number of phytonutrients. There's no ignoring that. If the plant grew naturally, it was under more stress or duress, and that actually caused the plant to make certain things called phytonutrients that on a molecular level, a very small amount, even a molecule, could cause the body to do things that are desirable, turn things on, get the body moving. It's, it's important and helpful for these phytonutrients to get into the body, but you don't find them in industrialized farming. The foods that grow in sterilized soil with pesticides, they just don't produce the same number of phytonutrients. There is even a significant difference between just vitamins, minerals, mi micronutrients, even though they want to say that it's, it's not big enough of a difference to, to worry about or to be considering eating organic food. But the fact that real food is orthomolecular, it has the same configuration as things that are found in nature, it hasn't been altered, and we're going to get at least more safety, and at the best, we're going to get better responses to those molecules. We have to start thinking about food on a molecular level now. What's it going to do when it gets digested, absorbed, and is utilized? How well will the body function with that? If I'm talking about real food, I'm going to get better function. If I'm talking about food that's had a lot of nutrients removed from it, it's been adulterated, things have been added to it, then I, I'm not consuming the same thing. It does make a difference. I hear every day where supposedly learned people will say, well, there, there is no difference, but there is. I find people do so much better when they consume real food. It's hard to overeat it, and it's going to be more beneficial. So first step is to get people eating more of the food the way that it's grown, as opposed to what you pick up in the middle of the supermarket. So that's today's health tip. Please spread the word on the groups on, on Facebook, uh, the Wellness Strategies group especially. We're going to get involved with other groups. I, I want to bring people together because insurance isn't the answer. It's the answer if you got trauma. It's the answer if you have something out of control that wasn't in your control. But you have so much control with your lifestyle, so in a sense you don't need the insurance. Let's teach people how to do that. Let's put our heads together and come up with some good solutions on how people can design their lifestyle to get the benefits they're looking for. This is Dr. Vince Belanzi. Check out my book if you get a ch chance, Health Recklessly Abandoned, but please join the group. And also look for my chat every Thursday at 5 p.m. If you join on Facebook, we'll be announcing it. You can also go to our Facebook page uh, called Steck Avenue uh, or to my own Facebook page. But please check us out, join up. We'll be talking to you soon.